Hi, Cole here with some super exciting news. I have printed our first full copy, uh, physical copy, I should say, of Storytelling with Data before and after. And this is so I can do one final read through by hand uh, and catch any issues or corrections, things that we want to change before we officially hand things over to the publisher, which is going to happen very soon. I actually really enjoy editing by hand. I think there's something gratifying about being able to turn a page and physically write on the paper with a pen. I've been using my Daphne pink pen this round. I also love that having the book in print means I can take it with me and edit in some unexpected places. In the cafe, that's maybe not so unexpected. Uh, this time I've also edited at Urgent Care. Don't worry, everything's okay. Uh, as well as outside on a sunny day. You also see different things on paper than you do on screen, which can be useful for a different perspective as part of the editing process. The book, as you may have noticed, is large, uh, even larger here than it will be in real life. It will ultimately be the same dimensions as storytelling with data and storytelling with you, but quite a lot of pages. While the word count comes in only modestly higher than storytelling with data, there's something else in there that makes the entire book quite long pictures. So many examples of graphs and slides, the progression from the original to the final communication. So you can see how the various steps along the way unfold. Now, I was realizing I actually don't even know how many images there are total in the book. How many do you think there are? Let's turn this into a friendly competition. Leave a comment with your guess, and let's say the closest to do so in the next 48 hours uh, without going over will win a signed copy of Storytelling with Data before and after. And we'll get that to you as soon as it comes out, which is happening in September. Though, as I mentioned, there's some editing still to do before then. We're also in the process of finalizing the design for the back cover, as well as figuring out how we want to treat or where we want to put endorsements on the back cover, on the interior of the book, or maybe some combination of these things. So stay tuned as well to see where we land on that. And with that, I should get back to editing. See you soon.